Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SM Ancient Chozo. In the last episode we made our way here into Meridia after claiming the Gravata suit. In this episode we're going to make our way through Meridia and get all the delicious treats it has, hopefully. Should be lots of fun. Well, you just fall straight down, you don't want to get hit by the things here. So long as you fall completely straight down without moving at all, you'll be okay. You move, you die. Anyway, let's get a shine spark ready and shoot up left because there's actually a secret this way. If you take damage, that's alright. Just make sure you manage to land on that little pink piece of coral. Because over here we have a secret. Super secrets. Super missiles. Super soca. Alrighty, with that, we're gonna drop on down after running into the spikes I completely forgot about. Yeah, I test played this and I forgot about those. Shows you how smart I am. It's like I just did a test play five minutes ago or whatever. Though I did discover something new. It's me taking a lot of unnecessary damage. I didn't notice this before, but there's a missile pack right there. Interesting. So I was in here earlier, like... I was doing a test panel, like, oh, I'll get the energy tank like I normally do. And then I came across that. The missile pack. I was like, wait, I didn't notice that before, because I remember, oh, wait, there's supposed to be a missile pack in this room originally. But no, I didn't find it until now. Anyways, here's how you deal with this. At least I know how to deal with it. Get your super missiles out. It's going to take you 25. And just unload into him. And dead. With that, we can claim our prize, which is... Energy Tank. It's a good-looking Chozo statue, by the way. I remember uh, one of the four members posted Digital Mantra and called him, like, the Michelangelo of Met's co Metconst. What a nice compliment. I am the Michelangelo of stupidity, then. Alrighty, with that, we're actually going to drop down and head to our left. After we say hi to that fish, he wanted to give us a friendly shake. He was a good Samaritan. Samus is not pleased with it, though. It was a rather violent handshake. Alright, let's get a speed booster slash shine spark going and shoot up on this way, because there's another item we can grab. Normally, you had to do a speed booster puzzle for this, but in this hack, you can just grab the missile pack. He took it easy on you this time. The hat creator was feeling merciful for now. And then you get blindsided by a boss right in the middle of a normal enemy room. Got a small headache. I didn't get the best sleep, the best night of sleep last night. Had some really sh crappy dreams, actually. All right, you don't have to do this, but if you get a speed shine spark charge, you can kind of fly through this room. You don't even need the, you know, grapple beam for this either. You can actually can pretty much skip the grapple beam if you have speed booster. Hence why I call it underwhelming. No offense to the creator, that's just the nature of grapple beam. It's always been an underwhelming upgrade. Except in something like phase on 0.3, which makes it a key, which is really cool. I kind of wish more hacks would do that. You know, instead of making it like an annoying, swinging, forced upgrade, this hack doesn't do that. I was just choosing to do it because it just makes my life a little easier. But make it like a key. Like, if you make another hack, kind of take note from a, whatchamacallit, phase on. Alright, there's actually another item below us. We got a super missile, by the way. But we need one of those, uh, shell dudes. I was literally a pixel off. Whatever. Well, hello there, friends. Looks like I didn't have to work for ya. So just let him go forward ahead of ya. He'll lead the way. He's a good guy like that. And then once he opens that chosen ball, kill him. Samus is a murderer. Remember, I've pointed this out. Galactic killer of creatures. Because she's cool like that. Alrighty, before you drop down the sand pit, make sure you have one of those snail dudes following you. Come on. Oh, whatever, we'll get two. Samus is gonna have fun. Also, I wanna apologize before, and there's gonna be plenty of turboing in this episode. Because these sand falls are really long, and there's just a lot of 
There's only two of them, mind you, but still. So apologies for that. I know that bugs some people. And if you needed them to get this missile pack, Jesus, it's like a bukkake of snail dudes. GW fan, I'll comment on that again. Anyways, we've got our next reserve tank, our third if I'm correct, only one left. So let's leave this pit of despair. And we're gonna go off to get an up. Oh, he hit me just as we're transitioning, what a dick. I thought the snail guys were cool. So anyways, before we grab that upgrade, let's actually uh, grab an item that's in this room, which is right there. Good job, Samus. Speed boost right into a spike. She had a headache, so she wanted to stab the pain. Oh boy, I did not mean to do that. Whatever, we can just head right back down. Alright there, Samus. You're getting excited. I know this is an amazing hack, really fun game, but... Calm your tits. Have I mentioned how gorgeous Meridia looks in this hack? It's a fucking work of art. This game's a work of art. Pretty much the best looking game I've... One of the best looking 2D games I've ever played. 3D doesn't really seem to hold a candle in my opinion. I don't know, it's all preference and taste. Of what you like and what you dislike. As normally you need the upgrade we'll be getting from the boss here, but if you use your ice beam and whatnot, you can head up here now. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. And if not, please leave it in. Because the upgrade through here is actually quite a nice one. Also, I'm sorry, we have to turbo again. There's a lot of sand this guy has to dig through. Well, that was something that was present in the original Super Metroid. That's nothing new to this game. Alrighty, so what's our delicious prize? Well, if we bomb down this way, and head to the right, we get the Spring Ball, which is normally not a very great upgrade in the original, but in this game, it lets us Speed Ball. Huzzah. So that'll let us get pretty much the rest of the secrets of the game, except barring like one, which we'll be getting the upgrade for in this episode, hopefully. I don't know, we're nearing that 10 minute mark. Time is flying, friends. I'm going as fast as I can. Samus is on a hurry. She thinks she left her microwave on. And her food will get burnt if she's not fast enough. So hurry, Samus. Hurry before that hot pockets. Those hot pockets are burned. They're a delicious dinner. Alright, let's get a spine spark going and just fly through this room. I meant to say speed booster at first, but then I screwed it all up. Because that's classic steel. Alrighty, don't fall down. You'll have to get out of that little pit. It's not hard to do. You can get a short speed booster going. And then just fly out. And shoot up. Thank you. Going fast is delicious. It's delicious. Anyone who's played Vesperia will get that reference. I like the Tales of series. This is... is there are fun series like Symphonia, Vesperia, and uh, Tales of the Abyss. I'm not a huge fan of the newer ones because they changed the combat system. Kind of have like an annoying stamina gauge of sorts rather than you just do your combo then start it up again when it's time. Alright, you don't fret if you fall and don't do the grapples stuff because if you're down here you can just get a shine spark going and then shoot up right. Ooh, that lucky dodge. And then you just get another speed booster and shine spark charge, and there you go. Pfft, the item disappeared before Samus could steal it. Bastards. They're conspiring against her so she can't get powered back up. This does not please the Samus. This saddens the little Samus. Alrighty, there's actually another pit with another item or two we can get, but I would highly recommend waiting till we get the upgrade here. Also, here's a really fun mechanic, and no, I don't mean that sarcastically. I kind of think it's cool. We get a baby Metroid to follow us. It's the Babel. And it'll get rid of these Chozo balls that seemingly are indestructible. Come on, baby. We just need the bottom row taken care of. Thank you. You're a good boy. Are you a girl? 
Asking the important questions, Steel does. Are Metroids female or male? Can they have both sexes? I know the queen is a female. Maybe they're all female. Maybe I'm on crack. You know, I don't do drugs or any of that stuff. I find smoking repulsive. I'm not really a fan of drugs unless it's medicinal. And even then, drugs are like pretty much a death sentence, it feels like. Have you seen some of the side effects for some of the drugs that come out? It may cause like internal bleeding and... It's like, I have a small skin condition that's a minor, that's a, 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 a nuisance for sure, but it isn't life-threatening. But if you take this drug, it may cure it, but it may kill you too. It's like, you're trying to save life, not potentially take him the fuck away. And it is Samus cured him of his problems with death. That's how Samus cures his, cures addictions, by killing them. It's effective, don't get me wrong, but it's not the best way to go about it. Alrighty, let's move on. I almost lost it at that. I make really horrible jokes. And get rid of the Chozo Balls, baby. Baby! No, I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber. God, no. If anyone starts singing that in the comments, I'm gonna scream. Let's just get moving. Come on, baby. Alright, let's free- Pfft. I didn't mean to fall all the way down. Come on, Samus, you're supposed to be against gravity. Hence why you can do a single wall jumps. It's fuck logic. You take strongly after Pinkie Pie. Cradle Blink, what the fuck is a Pinkie Pie? That's classified. My lifestyle's classified too, don't worry about those borders. That's a secret. It's a secret to nobody. Alright, let's just move along. Yeah, the entire ceiling is littered with spikes. Just be careful about that when you're flying through here. Alrighty, we need you. You're a quite an important step to the right to save point if you need it. And down here is an item we want to grab and our destination, our final destination for this episode, maybe. Most likely, we're running out of time. Yay, 15 minute uploads. Steel, do it longer. Nah. It's too much work. It's too much work to press the record button and play a fun game. I know, right? Maximum laziness achieved. Alright, he got your super missiles and blow his face off. Also, let's get rid of Fudge Boy. I don't know why they infinitely respawn. They're just assholes like that, I guess. Stupid pipes. We have a missile restore, which we're gonna use. I don't know how low we are on missiles. Oh, we are down a bit. And an energy restore if you need it. Watch it there, chubs. I don't want what you're selling, and it's pain. Alrighty, guys, it's boss time with... You'll see in just a moment. Also, remember how I mentioned this place is tougher? Well, the floor sinks you in with quicksand. Thankfully, unlike the other pits, it doesn't hurt. Also, these turrets shoot faster, their projectiles move faster, and you can't destroy them. So I hope you aren't too comfortable with the whole cheesing Dragon. Just keep a full charge shot so you can avoid damage like I just did. See? Uncle Steel will help you. Yeah, Albert, if you didn't know, I'm actually an uncle. My best advice is just to stay in ball form until he starts spewing his sperm at you or whatever. Dragon's female, but by the way. No, I got touched. Samus was touched by its sticky splooge. Yay, grossing everyone out. Come on, get rid of the poopy. Get out those super missiles and not do what I just did, son of a cookies. Let go, Samus doesn't like the bad touch. Okay, this isn't working out exactly how I planned. I did this last time on a test plus, so I had a lot more in terms of ammunition. Just get out those missiles and stuff and lay into her sad sack. I don't care if I waste ammo, she's almost dead. Unload Samus, give her your missiles, feed her, she's a hungry mother. And with that, kids, your mother's dead. It's kind of sad, actually, but they are evil, they're working for the space pirates. That's what you get, you got in Samus's way, so she shot you in the face. 
And if what's our prize? You'll have to find out what this little icon is? I'm just kidding. It's Space Jump. Huzzah! Alright, let's bomb this open and we'll take this secret passage next time. Because next episode, oh, if only I was a little faster. I'm just kidding. We're going to be getting actually a very nice upgrade and doing a bit more, pretty much clean up. Well, not yet. We'll be heading down into a new area of an old area. Anyways, what awaits us in the rest of Mer What's that? S Let me try that again. What is that sweet upgrade we'll be getting here in Meridia? Well, I actually told you guys about it last episode. And what's the new area of an old area? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Metroid Ancient Chozo.